We'll open the meeting at 6.02. Do we have any adjustments to the schedule? Or the agenda, I guess it's called. Um, I just wanted to go, well, no, it's on the agenda, the remote access. Agenda. Okay. Um, so I, I can't think of anything. I don't have anything either. Okay. All right. Public comments. We're at a loss for public comments. Okay. Um, approving the bills. I guess we'll approve those by signing. I haven't reviewed them yet. Yeah, I haven't looked at them either. And then the minutes. Those approved by signing. And the minutes. I have one comment on the minutes, and okay. it's not a typo because I know we had the conversation, but I realized that what was commented on we can't actually do. It's on the. So if we vote, if this firehouse thing passes this year, yeah. it has to be paid in the 2023 budget because well, we, we can't commit to future okay. meetings. So we, we have not budgeted any of that. No, I got it. But it, well, it, it's, if it passes, then it would have to be just incorporated in the tax rate when they figure the tax rate. Yes. Okay. But on a typical right, so it won't be in person when it's calculated. Right, you'd know by, June, by the end of April, and then it would just be figured right. into the tax rate. Right. I'm just saying we can't do this because okay. we, All right. as an organization, we can't commit future town. Right. We can't. I can't vote a year ahead. Okay. Is what okay. I'm saying. Because okay. although I, I remember having the conversation, but then yeah. I looked at it and said we can't do that. Can't do that. Okay. So, so if it passes, we, it would be paid in the 2023. What we should do is make that amendment, um, and then you you just. Write it in as it should be, okay. and read it to us, and we will approve the minutes as okay. amended. And I can make the change okay. on the computer tomorrow, and I'll send it down to you, Robin. Okay. So, so technically, uh, we could sign. Well, it's on the same page that we're signing. So, so what we would do is just we cross that out and just place to be paid. in FY 2023. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does it have the sum of money that's going to be paid? Well, it was, I don't have the article. It's 80, it's 85,000. 85, oh, okay. okay, I don't want to misquote it, but yeah. I mean, we have to warn the meeting. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't, right. we can't represent that we were doing something that we can't actually right. do. We can't do. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Did, did you kind of catch that? Just hand it. I think we just created a say to be paid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I realize it's not in our. It was no different than the last time we did it. Mm -hmm. We did it. It was in a year budget year, so it just would have to be. If it, just like if it passes, year. it would be considered yeah. in the yeah, when they the calculate year. the tax rate. Okay. 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 That's the only change. So other than that, I'll entertain a motion to amend the minutes as a uh, approve the minutes as amended. There we go. I'll, I'll, all right. So I'll make a motion. Okay. And I'll second. Oh, it. I'm sorry. I have my mask on. Oh. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. The ayes have it. You don't it. need to read it as you've changed it? Oh, have her read it. I... So I'll, re I'll, I'll remove my motion. Yep. Motion to approve is removed. Yep. Right, so is here. What it says, it crossed out the line that talked about which year, and it just simply says to be paid in the 20, FY23 budget. Okay. So it'll read as Woodbury Volunteer Fire Department to vote on the Fire and Emergency Operations Center to be paid in fiscal year 2023 budget. Because right. that's the only legal thing we can do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I will make a motion to approve the amended version of the budget. I'll second that. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Get past it. Mm -hmm. All right. Town Clerk's Report. The last couple of weeks have been very busy with absentee ballots. We have sent out 155 mm -hmm. absentee ballots, mm -hmm. and of that so far, I have gotten 69 back. Wow, that's mm -hmm. good. Great. Yeah, and um, I think we will be voting tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And I turned the water on, and it's working. Thank you. Yep. And hopefully it won't freeze tonight. I hope not. <laughs> it's five degrees out. Just so you know, Chuck, it's five degrees out. Oh, so you can, yeah. You yeah. can feel bad for us. Not much. No, <laughs> no not it's much. not feeling bad at all. And I got an email. It was the 25th, but I actually got it today. The Woodbury 2022 mile certificate has not been received. Right. That's still on my list to do. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. And actually, um, I've been trying to find the name of the person that sent that. So 
if I, if you could forward that to me, or um, then I'll. Um, or any of us, actually, all of us. Yeah, to make sure. It was um, she sent last year's to me, and you know the mileage hasn't changed at all. So I had requested um, that sh uh, the last year's be sent, so I could just write in the number of miles on the 2022 okay. certificate. Okay. Um, and I haven't been able to find that email. And Ms. Durkee, do you have support for people in person tomorrow to help? To vote. To, to help, help with voting. To help with voting. Yes. Last meeting, both you and Michael said, uh, Chris and Michael said, that they would help vote at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Yep. Yes. Is that still that a vote? Yes. So good to help count. Okay. Okay. Yep. And you're good with ballot clerks for the day? Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. So yep. perfect. All right. Now, Diana came in today and was a little nervous, so she called a few more people to help vote for tomorrow night. Okay. We can't be both, though, right? Hmm? We can't be both. We can't. We can't. Be both. <laughs> yeah, you can you can collect you can, ballots you, and you count. You can be a ballot clerk and yeah, also and count, count the ballots count. at the end of the night. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. We just have to take all your writing utensils. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I can get. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Is that all, Robin? Yes, sir. Perfect. Thank you. Town Treasurer's Report. Yes. Over the last two weeks, payroll was $9,081.53. AP was $8,895.45. Income out of cash receipts, we had a $100 donation for the Sylvia Jackson Fund. Uh, delinquencies, $5,504.15. Today, I transferred $8,000 from the money market over into checking. Two weeks ago, I received the Cabot Road reimbursement for $65,904.58. So I made a transfer over to the money market of $65,000. Mm -hmm. Great. Other than that, yeah. Mm -hmm. How's the shoulder? Let's get in there. Getting there. Lots of PP. Yeah. that high <laughs> I went through what you did. It takes <laughs> Been a long there, time. done that. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a long time. Yeah. Questions? I don't have any. I don't either. No. We got the check, so we can't complain about that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, somebody probably will, but we'll see. Okay. We're on. You're on, Chuck. Okay. Um, just to let you know, Greg and I talked, and uh, we don't have any culverts on hand, so we ordered two 18s and two 24s um, to have on hand because we got one this spring that I'm afraid we're going to have to change early mm -hmm. uh, on the county road. I mean, uh, excuse me, Cranberry Meadow Road. <clears throat> so that will be... I know we hit the culvert fund pretty hard last year, but I don't know what else we can do on that. Got to have it. You got to have it. Yeah, and Mike, could I send me an email about people in West Woodbury being concerned that Hardwick was not going to plow the roads up there anymore? Uh, Mike, uh, uh, David, and I from Hardwick have been talking and all we got to we when I get home we'll just set a meeting up and just lay out what we're figuring for guidelines so everybody and, and put it in writing so that everybody knows what's going on mm -hmm. and as I see it unless you the Woodbury Select Board has a problem with it it's going to continue the way it has been right which we do yeah. have in writing you all got a copy of that we do have a copy of that yeah the old right. one yeah the the old version of it we already have established right Chuck we we, we have a version from what three years ago. Yeah, I don't have any idea about that. No, I we uh, do. Skip. Yeah. I'll send it to you, Chuck, when I get back home because I found one. Someone uh, Skip sent it to Skip me. Lindsay sent it. Yeah. Okay. That might be helpful to you. I didn't realize yeah. you didn't have it. I think yeah. I did. no, I didn't know anything about that. Was, no. That was done before I started. Yeah. So me, I, me too. But Skip Lindsay I, I found it. Send it. To Chuck. Okay. Cool. Good. And sure. other than that, I guess the roads are breaking up some. Well, they froze up solid yeah. this weekend. Yeah, the, we, that's what I heard. 
Ruts in different places that are now frozen solid. It's going to be below zero every night all this week, so we're good till next week. And it's going to rain yeah. Monday, Tuesday next week. Yeah, I'm afraid when it opens, it's going to be full yeah. Muncie. It is. Yeah. But other than that, I don't have much. Uh, but um, if anybody talks to anybody out of West Woodbury, you can reassure them that things are pretty much going to stay the way they are. It, it, to my knowledge. Yeah. I, I did send an email to um, uh, Jack Travelstead is the person that contacted me um, about the, the rumors going around up there. He, he lives in West Woodbury and after getting a confirmation from you, because I'm remembering from the last meeting um, where we, you had mentioned that you had been talking with David Upson that, and everything was going to stay the same. Um, I. And then you confirm that. Um, I told yeah. told Jack to let people up there know. So um, we should okay. be, we should good. be good. Yeah. The word may be a little different, but it'll be good to have that yeah. when um, you send it to me. So I'll be able to show it to Dave too. But I can do that. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, but I mean, he's all going home for it. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we're going to get it worked out and yeah. send them the way they are. Yeah. Other than that, I guess I don't have much else. Okay. All right. You guys got anything for Chuck? Oh, nope. Thanks, nope. Chuck. I, I did want to let you know, um, I had a conversation with David Upson quite a while ago uh, after um, the Meyer family, I think it was Nick Meyer especially, who's basically running the Cahagan thing up on Nichols Pond these days. Yeah. And um, he, Nick was asking if the road crew could plow up to the um, to where the road goes down to Nichols Pond Dam. Um, and um, I guess he had, I told him to speak with David Upson because Hardwick does plow that road. And David Upson ha uh, has agreed, and this will be part of the, the uh, mutual aid agreement, um, I would assume. He would like to plow up to the Nichols Pond Road um, to help out their business. He figures that if you know that's a business where people that are staying there, because um, they're keeping one cabin open for snowmobilers, that they're going to come into Hardwick to spend their money. So, it, you know. I think he's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, they really can't spend it in Woodbury. So. Right. So he he wants to he wants to help them keep that road open and. Um, I don't know if he's talked to you about that, but uh, that's kind uh, of... We, we've talked on it, and I told him that Greg and I would go up in the spring and look things over. It's mm -hmm. going to take a, a fair amount of work mm -hmm. to get that where they can keep it plowed. Yeah, okay. It's wide enough, but it's going to take probably three to four culverts across the road and a tremendous amount of gravel. Okay, all right. Keep that from turning right to one big mud hole. Mm -hmm. Now, is there... Can you get grants for Class Four roads? Uh, but if we if uh, was hydrologically connected, um, which I can check out, uh, we could use the Municipal Road General Permit because um, we are responsible for erosion on Class Four roads. Um, well, there's a, definitely some erosion down through there. The water runs right down the middle right down of the road. road. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Half a mile. Yeah. Um, and it does kind of run into uh, kind of a wetland brook area. I will look and see how A&R has designated those segments right. of road. Yeah. The classification is that it should be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as of right now. Yeah. But okay. we can take a look. Yeah. I'll take a look too. We'll, we'll check that out. All right. Because if not. You froze. Yeah. I don't know if that's our connection or no, if it's our connection or I think it's we've got usually have pretty good connection here so all right Chuck you're back you you, yep, fro I'm back. you froze up for a bit I don't know if you said anything that we didn't hear or, or not but uh, the only well I asked if you were there and you didn't answer so. okay all right. <laughs> no, I, what I said was it's going to take a fair amount of dollars to put that road up in shape okay well we can keep it plowed yeah all right well, we'll we'll see if it's if it's uh, got the A and R blessing for funding. Well, yeah. Like I told David that 
we could probably get it where you can plow it the first year, but mud season would be bad. It may take two or three years to get it up into shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mud it's season. Bit. Yeah, it's it's always pretty bad during mud season, especially kind of right in the bottom swell where um, the water runs to. Right. Yeah. Well, there's no. Yeah, there's got to be some ditching and some culverts done there, definitely. Okay. All right. Okay. You good? I'm good. Perfect. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Um, Thank you. So, we are up to remote equipment act or access equipment. So, laptop um, purchase. This is just a brief thing. We did uh, last at our last meeting. We, I mentioned that we did have to get a new laptop for the remote access equipment, um, which was um, something that we were thinking that we wouldn't have to do. According to Skip Marcasani, the Town clerk's laptop um, just isn't up, it's old and it isn't up to speed to do uh, what it needs to do. So um, so we did purchase that, I think it came to around $750. Did, did you get a, a receipt or invoice from Skip about that? You did, okay. I have all the other invoices for all of this equipment. So, so the computer was a 750 Yeah, okay. I, I mean roughly, that's what my memory ha is from um, what Skip said it would cost. So, um, and we talked about the laptop um, at our last meeting, um, but we technically, I think we should have voted to approve it, okay. approve the purchase of it. So I just wanted to share that, the, the, you know, and our two select board meetings go, the last meeting in the end of January, we voted um, to approve uh, $1,200 in expenditures for this remote okay. stuff. Um, but with a new laptop, we spent uh, $1,700. Okay. To seventeen hundred and two dollars and twenty cents. So I think just re give another motion to okay. uh, cover that amount. I'll make that motion to approve the new amount. F seventeen. Okay. Seventeen oh two. Yeah, I'll second that, and it looks like Brandy has some discussion about it. It's Brandy. So my my um, thought was that it was coming out of the ARPA money. We can use. So if the that ARPA is money. the, I want a motion made that that money. So that I can do a journal entry and move it out of the ARPA money, but I want the board and I want the We can do that. Oh, we can do that. Yes. I'll need the backup for that when I. Yep. We can so I'll make a motion to approve that we use ARPA funds for the purchase of the new computer at 1702 total. What? And the equipment. Yeah, for, equipment. All the equipment. for all the equipment. For all the IT equipment. equipment. Yeah. For, yeah. So those so. two purchases. Yeah. Yep. So I'll make a motion to approve the purchase of all new digital equipment for the purposes of allowing digital town forums at 1702 be approved. And using the ARPA funds. Using ARPA funds. Okay. I'll second that. Any more discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. There's no no vote. Okay. We're good. good. So that and that's pretty much it. Jeez, for we're that, gonna go um, for a world freaking record here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. It was. This could be, I've been in this for three years. I've never seen this before ever. We we have. Somebody call up and yell at me, please. Yeah. <laughs> we have used the, this equipment pretty extensively since we've got it. Um, we've used it every time we've had a, a, a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fantastic. And we're getting better with it every time. And it's right. definitely 100% ARPA approved. Yes. And there's one snafu that. Um, Still trying to figure out is that we did uh, we recorded the uh, ARPA informational meeting, um, and then I couldn't send it to Skip Lindsay. Um, hmm. It was too much information for an attachment to an email. You'd have to zip it or put it in like a OneDrive, and then you could they yeah. could go. What, so well, I, I do my big files. I go into OneDrive or or Google Drive, and you can place a file there and give mm -hmm. someone permission to access it there. Which we don't have an account for right now, so maybe we should consider. Oh, maybe that. you should get a Google maybe Drive. We might want to do that because I. Cause know, that's the only way you I, can do those files. It did suggest that I do OneDrive, and and it, that didn't work. And I, I use Google Drive, and it's okay. really inexpensive. Okay. And Ben Witt came up with uh, another alternative that I haven't tried yet. And then I bought a flash drive. I figured for this thing, I'm just going to get it on the flash drive okay. and, and walk it over to Skip Lindsay's house. Have you guys used OneDrive or Google Drive? I have not. Yes, both. Because basically I can, okay, I can right. send a large file, put it in there, mm -hmm. and then click that you have permission and then give you the link for it. And then you can just go in and access okay. it. But we should have something like that we for should. the town. Yeah. There will be a town 
But yeah. that's a conversation that we should bring up probably for the not the next select board. Sure, you and yeah. the next two good people that get to enjoy that. that. decide to, yeah. to do yeah. that. So that, that, would, but, that would solve the problem. It so like. um, yeah. it's a conversation that needs to be had mm -hmm. amongst the next select board. If we're going to have large digital files, should we have a town account you should. for, you it know, would, it would make life easier. Google right? Drive. I see. It's really the only way to share large files, drive where pictures, we can share those videos. Large files. I spent about an hour and a half. Yeah, no, you're not going to be. I went through the same thing. I had a client that wanted about 300 pictures, and I'm like, mm -hmm. so I finally put it in my OneDrive. We have a OneDrive account for work, and then we were able to, he could just act. He says, you want to have permission for the email receiver to access, you click yes, and then they can just open it. So it could be a, a relatively easy thing to do mm -hmm. as long as we set it up. Yep. We no. could have one for the select board, one for the town. Mm -hmm. We could have multiple accounts. Mm -hmm. We could, could make. Could we have just one account where we could. Or we could make it one account. <coughs> it I mean, good. that's what we have. We have one Zoom account, and and anybody, any of the groups in town that need to do Zoom meetings, <laughs> use it. So, would well, that be? Would that be? Well, it's reasonable. Okay. So mm -hmm. one, but we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to decide how to associate it. Okay. Yeah. You know, and yep. that's that's all right. It might have to be through the town clerk. Yeah, that's but fine. Yep, we can decide on that. And yeah, he says the two better ones are OneDrive or Google. Google. Google's the least expensive. It's cheap. Okay. If you have a Gmail account, they give you a small one on your own. You got to pay for a bigger file. But uh -huh. well, okay. well, we can decide on that. Yeah. But I think yeah. that we agree that that's a reasonable approach. Mm -hmm. Agree. I, I agree. Yeah. Whatever makes it. Easier. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't be able to share those videos. Yep. No, the so sure committee have to, would like to get that on the website so yeah. that people can. Yeah, we'd people like to be able to share that. large files all of a sudden. Yeah. So. And that was a great meeting. I don't know, Paul. I um, it's in. Uh, Tegan did a great I'll job have to recording. Go look at it, Actually, yeah, the CD fiber that she recorded. But they um, just so that you know, um, I think I shared this. I don't think I have shared this at a select board meeting because it was after the last. Yeah, it was after the last one. The. Um, all the municipalities can spend up to $10 million of ARPA funds on anything they want. There are no restrictions. Anymore. Anymore. Okay. And this was in the final rule, and obviously we're never going to get $10 million. Right. Yep. Um, so Made it both wonderful and complicated at the same time. So it looks like Gary Clark is trying to get in. I just noticed that. Oh, it's almost, almost too late. Yeah. But actually, uh, there is something I want to bring up. He said uh, that was needed. So we're in updates and follow-ups now. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Gary, I'm glad you're here. Um, so I, just before the select board meeting tonight, I opened up the laptop and there was an email from Gary. Uh, he got a call from somebody on Woodbury Lake. There, apparently there's an abandoned car at the fishing access. Yep. Um, I guess now it doesn't have any tires or oh, exhaust or whatever. <laughs> and the person that called him wants the town to do something about it. It's a state problem. Well, that's that's what I told Gary that I thought was true. Yeah, it's a state it's, fish it's, and wildlife That's department. on state property. Um, that's their yep. problem, not the yep. town's. So um, I will try to figure out who to notify. Department him. of Fish and Wildlife. Yeah, because it is the Fish and Wildlife. Hey, yeah, Gary. I just went by there two minutes ago, and the car seems to be gone. Oh, oh. but no. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. <laughs> Problem yeah. solved. You're a miracle worker. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, that was the only other business I had. I don't have anything else. I don't have anything else either. Wow. But I would like to say I have tremendously appreciated the service of both Paul mm -hmm. and Michael and the time that I have been on this select board for a short period of time. I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And I wish them very well. We wish you good luck. Off of the select board for the town of Woodbury in the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chris. And I wanted to further thank Chris, in particular, Michael. How many years did you do? Eight. Eight years. So oh, wow. I'm having trouble getting through three. Mm -hmm. It's a tough job. It's not very pleasant. And yeah. frankly, one of the reasons it's tough to, to volunteer for anything in town is all you ever get is complaining. Hardly any everybody ever thanks anybody. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, some people we don't always agree, but I am very right. thankful. Yep. I mean, that's what makes our world work. Is if mm -hmm. we all agreed on everything, I think we'd be in a mess. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but I think uh, thanking those even uh, for their service, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so I thank you. Yeah. And well. we could all learn a lot by learning how to be nicer to each other mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how to get along even when we disagree. Yeah. 
We can be polite. Yeah. That's my little story. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, thank you, Michael. Well, thank you, Paul, and thank I appreciate you. the no worries for years. And, <laughs> yeah, and and I appreciate the integrity and honesty that you want and and also give. Yeah, um, I try. It's been even though we have disagreed on yep. things. Do it we have done it civilly. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. Our 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 republic doesn't work any other way. Right. You know, especially at a town level, it's very hard. Uh, when all you hear is complaining, mm -hmm. you know, and that's unfortunate, but it happens. Mm -hmm. It's just the nature of the beast. So I'll make a motion to close the... Is this going to be a world record? Close the meeting. I think it might be. Can you hang on just one minute? Sure, come up and oh, yell at us. We need someone to yell at us. Come on, Chuck. <laughs> no, I don't want to yell at you. I want to thank you and Michael both for your support while I've been there. Yep. You've both been excellent to work with, mm -hmm. and... I'm afraid I'm going to miss you deeply. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> but Chuck, I am I am uh, planning on continuing as a town highway administrative assistant with your grace and the new select board's grace. If they would like me to do that, I will continue doing that. Um, I think it's great. I hope they. I hope the select board agrees. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah I, I like that idea too. I like that idea too. And Chuck, I'm happy to start to step in in Michael's role as best as I can to work with you on town highway work yeah cool and so, I, i'm sure you and i won't have any problems mm -hmm. so some of the things I'm, that we've left in the background i'm sure you want to keep working on chuck and i think are important is the fixing up of the lower part of valley lake road mm -hmm. and ultimately getting it paved someday and that moving that road yeah. um, yes one of the parts i don't yeah. like about leaving is leaving something undone and, yeah. and uh, that's hard for me because i like to yeah. finish things yeah. Um, but it is hey, one of those things that no, drags we'll on. Follow, we'll follow through on both of those. Yeah, so yep. just remember to keep yep. that going because those are good, worthy projects that need to be finished. Yep. And this yeah. is this is Chris, but I'm going to have a little bit of time with Paul and Michael to try to understand the priorities of some yeah. of the projects. Okay. And mm -hmm. we'll make sure that, Chuck, you're involved in those conversations. All right. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Just to make it easier to translate some of those uh, those priorities to the next group of folks on the select board. Right. Right. And, well, it's always good when everybody's on the same page. Yeah. And just to address those two uh, sites that you mentioned, Chuck, we did have the survey done for the bypass on that bad curve on Valley Lake Road. So that's done. Um, and so the new select board will have to find somebody to do the design work. All right, we um, got the survey. We yeah. got the survey done. And then we got to, we should, next thing they need to do is get the road laid out and do that process. Right. Yep. It's laid out, I guess. We just got to do the. Yeah, roughly laid out. For it's the roughly survey. laid out. So we got to, we got to get the, yeah. you got to do the meeting to get the, to actually take the land. And the other, um, the, the replacement of the culvert, um, we did get a grant to do that. Um, we haven't put together, or I haven't put together the, um, RFP for the designer, um, the VTrans has suggested uh, two, uh, three people, three uh, engineers anyway, the, the fellows, Ruggles that, that we used before. We've used Ruggles, um, yeah. D Doug Newton, who designed the box culvert on the Nelson Pond Road, and, and then just to get the, a third, um, there's, um, oh, here's my old brain forgetting. Um, they're based down in Montpelier. Um, they're usually uh, really expensive. The wolf. The wolf. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, that was it. Yep, I had to. And I'll have to work yeah. with you on that culvert anyway, because our dry hydrants right there. We'll have to okay. figure out how to incorporate that back into that design. Yeah, yeah I know. I know um, so Paul's not out of the woods yet. Not out of the woods. <laughs> and again, I'm willing to help with some of this stuff. You know, yeah, like I'm willing to work if you need someone to for oversee yeah. or chase a project down. I'm willing to happy to do that yeah. and then bring it to the board and let them deal with it. And I, and we'll still be dealing with District 7 on that because they're basically, that's the district. That's there. our new district. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually not our new district, it's our old one. We're in District 6 now, but, but they oh, started. Right. They, they, they're the ones districts. that awarded us the grant. Right. So, so we, we still, gotta deal with that. Yeah. So, um, and uh, one thing that Logan Perrin, um, who's one of the folks from District 7 mentioned is that because that culvert is gonna be so close to the a new old store. That building is is um, pretty much historical. Um, so there'll be you know there will be some other kind of permitting for just um, which will be the headache of the designer, not us. Not us, yeah. <laughs> so it'll be our headache later. Uh, it should be shouldn't be our headache at all, really. I hope. Nope. But, <laughs> no. But uh, don't buy it. But you never. Yeah, you never know, do you? <laughs>
So that's just the last word on all of that. Um, oh, and then someday they'll hand the uh, policy manual back to be approved. <laughs> <laughs> that's been the perennial project since I got here. Oh, the personnel policy? Personnel yeah, policy. Yeah, that's still, that's still in the, still in the works. We're on year so three somewhere. now. It's in the cupboard. <laughs> works. So we came real close, but it, we didn't finish it. Uh, yeah. You get to finish it. Thanks. Right. Chuck, thanks. Right. Good Thank point. you, Chuck. <laughs> no, his voice died again. Chuck, we lost you. I got you. You're moving, but you, I don't hear anything. Is your mic off? No, it's not off, I don't think. It should be. Is my mic off? Nope. Huh. Chuck? Oh. Ah! I just lost him. He's gone. Okay, he left. All right. I all to entertain the motion to adjourn. I'll second so, the motion. Okay. All those favors say aye. 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 Now I get to sign the bills. Right.